What up everybody, this is Matt with Survivalist 2012 and what I'm going to do for you guys today is uh, do a little upgrade a couple upgrades on this Glock 26 now they call this the uh, baby Glock this is the Glock that is great for concealed carry as you guys uh, may or may not already know when you're at the range not a super comfortable gun to shoot because of its size um, performance is still pretty well I mean it's not a bad performing gun but what we're going to do is, you know, pop some upgrades in this and, you know, make sure it's nice and comfortable for you at the range. But basically, um, I've only done one upgrade to it so far, and that's the, uh, I colored in the letters there. I do have a video on that, so you guys can check that out, see how I did that. Really add some flair to your clock. So basically what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is upgrade the, uh, the slide plate cover. You can get these at uh, anywhere from eBay to rock your Glock. And basically what it does is just adds a little flare to your gun. I chose the Punisher logo. It's about 20 bucks. Um, generally anywhere you look, whether it be on eBay or rock your Glock. Next thing we're going to do is uh, upgrade the barrel. We got this uh, Lone Wolf barrel from, I believe I got this on eBay as well, for about 130 bucks. Basically, what it's for is improves in uh, performance and um, allows you to shoot reloads out of your Glock. Now, Glock does recommend that you do not shoot reloads out of the stock barrel because the polygonal rifling will gum that all up. So, you can. I know people that do. Um, I would prefer not to. Plus, the lone wolf barrel um, saves on your case bulge so you can reload a little bit easier. So what we're going to do first is break this gun down. The easiest thing to do first is to show you guys the new barrel. If you guys are interested, it's the LWD 26N. I'm just going to put the old barrel back in for safekeeping. This is what it looks like up close. As you see, it sticks out and protrudes a little bit farther than the Glock uh, stock barrel, which isn't a bad thing. So now we got that in. You see what that looks like. We'll uh, put that all back together at the end. I'll show you guys how to uh, replace this slide plate in the back here. So basically all you do is you go in here, pull this down just a little bit and slide it. Keep your thumb there because you do have springs in there that can pop out. Pretty basic, pretty easy. Slide that to the side. Get your new floor plate out. Oh, I'm sorry, slide cover plate. Now with this, to get it in there, Basically all you do is you push in this first spring. Basically just get it started in there. It's kind of harder to do this on camera than I thought it was going to be. Get it started over that first spring and then you got your second spring up there kind of compress that in and slide it the rest of the way to hear snap. So now we got the new slide cover plate on there. Adds a little flair to your gun. I mean you can get any print that you like. I just happen to like this Punisher. I think it's kind of cool. So we'll finish assembling this gun. Slide our other pieces to the side. Get 
There you go. Adds a little flare to your Glock. Also, what I wanted to show you guys, this is the stock magazine that comes with the Glock. You get with the, the Gen 3s, I believe you get two. Gen 4s, you get you get three. Um, with this particular one, I don't know why, but I got three magazines with it. So that's kind of cool, but basically kind of uncomfortable. You still have that pinky hanging off. Still got the slippage down there. So basically, there's some other options that you can get. And this is the Pierce grip extension, and it's a plus one. Pretty easy to uh, put on. There's tons of videos out there showing you how to do it. So from 10, you got plus one, so you got 11 in the magazine. That's what it looks like. Got your pinky on there. Not bad. So what I would consider this is, this would be my summertime carry. When you want to conceal it a little bit more maybe a spring and a fall carry winter obviously then we can move on to what's the most comfortable at the range well this is a glock 19 magazine with a uh, just like a slide cover at the bottom obviously this one is a 15 round capacity mag and you get all that at the bottom pretty comfortable as you see I have plenty of room for my pinky down there it's just a snap cap in there That's about it guys. I'm planning on doing more videos. I've had computer problems so I'm getting back into it with uh, more videos for you guys. I've um, got a new computer so I'm ready to uh, put out some more videos for you guys. What I plan on doing is doing a uh, complete start to finish on reloads. Now you guys let me know whether or not you want me to do 45 or 9 millimeter, and we'll start from you know the tire weights you know smelting them down casting them into bullets all the way through the start to finish of making <clears throat> a complete bullet for you guys so let me know what you want to see nine millimeter or 45 and uh, we'll we'll get her done but i appreciate you guys sticking uh sticking with me through all these years and hopefully you uh like my new set of videos you guys have any questions Feel free to leave me a comment. Until then, this is Matt with Survivalist 2012. Peace.